Balik tayo kay Yusek Rafi sa pangalawang tanong. Uh, yes, uh, Secretary. Uh, from um, Question from uh, Rosalie Cos ng UNTV. Ano po ang reaksyon ni Pangulong Duterte sa pambabatiko sa mga PSG personnel na binakunahan ng unauthorized vaccine? Naging controversial ang issue at nanawagan si Vice President Robredo ng transparency at accountability po kaugnay nito. Ano po ang masasabi ng palasyo dito? Gaya na akin ang sabi po kanina, nagbibigay po ugay, nagpapasalamat po ang ating pres presidente sa katapangan, sa katapatan ng PSG na magawa ang kanilang katungkulan na protektahan ang ating presidente. Ang second question po niya, papahintulutan ba ng punong ehekutibo si PSG Commander Durante na dumalo sa gagawing pagdinig ng Senado sa vaccine rollout? Bakit or bakit hindi? Hindi ko po alam. Pero hindi ko po maintindihan kung bakit paghihimasukan ng Senado, a co-equal branch of government, ang seguridad ng ating presidente, e eh yung hindi naman pinaghihimasukan ng presidente ang seguridad ng Senado. So siguro po, mutual respect for co-equal branches of government. Thank you, Secretary. Susunod na tanong kay Trisha, si, uh, Trisha Terada, please, of CNN. Hi, good afternoon, Secretary. Happy New Year po. Sir, um, let me understand that that's the mandate of the PSG. Happy New Year. Uh, yes. Sir, what is, marami kong gustong magtanong, what does this say about um, how the government values the legality and processes and yung pambabaypas po sa FDA or sa ating mga offices, sa due process, doesn't it send, sir, the wrong signal to those na Yung, mga, yung iba pong hindi naman maganda invention na pwede pala nilang gawin to sa bansa if the PSG or the people close to the president can do it. Baka pwede rin nilang gawin. That's far-fetched. Alam po natin ang mission ng PSG to protect the president. Yan po ginawa nila. No? E iisa lang naman po ang presidente ng Pilipinas. Siguro naman walang Pilipino. Well, syempre, may mga kalaban ng presidente na who are wishing otherwise. Pero tingin ko naman po, lahat yung mga natatakot sa Panginoon, eh, hindi naman po na nagnanais na magkasakit ang ating presidente. Dahil pag alam natin, pag nagkasakit siya, senior citizen siya, eh malala po ang tama ng COVID. No? So sa akin po, wala, wala po yung mga usapin na anong mensaheng pinararating natin. Yun lang po yun. Pero nitektahan nila ang presidente, they stand by it. Yung mga may problema, bahala kayo sa mga buhay ninyo. Pero sir, what about the legality, the bypassing of the process? Well, sinabi ko na po, no, yung pagtuturok po, wala pong nalabag na batas. Wala pong nagbenta, wala pong nagdistribute. Mm -hmm. Sir, doon naman po sa issue ng face yields. Well, the IAP, kasi po di ba, ginawa po siyang mandatory because of the fear of a surge this holiday season. But will the IATF reconsider making this mandatory considering sir yung complaints ng marami that it's uncomfortable more than that yung iba po nahihilo raw while using it and some are feeling that it triggers their vertigo. Well, uh, gaya na akin na sabi po, no? uh, magkakaroon po ng guidelines ang ating IATF. Inaantay lang po natin ang mga rekomendasyon ng ating technical working group. So antayin po natin ang guidelines. Sir, um, may please go to Ambassador Santa Romana po. Go ahead, please. Go ahead. Hi, good afternoon, Ambassador. Sir, um, can you just share with us your general observation now that uh, yung kasabi nyo nga po, 1 million people have already been vaccinated in China. Um, how has been the response um, in terms of how do you juxtapose this to the number of cases that you have now there in China? Or is it too early? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. We can hear you. Uh, so your question is uh, general observation about the receptivity towards the vaccine in China? Yes, sir. And um, it's general effect that you've been seeing so far since um, 1 million uh, have so already far. been um, vaccinated. Uh, you know, I've met, I've met quite a number of Chinese, you know, a lot of particularly Chinese business executives who have taken the vaccine. Actually, 
most of the Chinese business managers and engineers who were involved in infrastructure projects in the Philippines are now going back. And almost all of them, if not all of them, they take the vaccine before they go to the Philippines. And mm -hmm. so far the results have been pretty good. It's, to, it's a preventive measure. We also know from news report, also from, we've met uh, at least one Filipino doctor who works in a Chinese hospital here, a joint venture. Uh, they were offered, all the frontliners, including him, were offered the Chinese vaccine. In the beginning, he was not willing. He, he, he demurred. He, he basically said, I'll think about it first. And he let his colleagues take it. And they all took it and he observed them. And it was finally he decided he joined them. So, so far, he told me, and this was only last week, that the results were pretty good and he feels quite well. There was no adverse reaction in his case. Uh, there have also been press reports. You know, the Chinese have been conducting uh, tri clinical trials in a number of countries, in Tunisia, Brazil, Turkey, the Middle East. A number of Middle Eastern countries have approved the vaccine already, the Chinese vaccine. As a matter of fact, there was, I was reading a news report uh, yesterday or, or last night that mm -hmm. the Philippine ambassador in Bahrain actually took the Chinese vaccine because it's, it's approved there. It's registered there and it's already being distributed for free. So, so, so far, there's actually a, a uh, you know, the Chinese are being asked, Chinese citizens are being asked to register. There's actually right now a, a long list and that's why they're trying to keep up with the demand. And the plan is, as I said, they want to meet the target of 50 million uh, this year. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of press report also, the Chinese uh, produ uh, vaccine producers, they intend to produce about a billion uh, doses this year. So there is gonna, they're ramping up their production, no doubt. And there is a lot of uh, play up in the media. So thus far, my personal experience, China, of course, has been able to control the, the, virus, the virus here. I've been able to travel to four or five provinces uh, in the past couple of months. Uh, but at the same time, they all, you know, they're very disciplined. They wear masks and practice social distancing. So it's a combination now, the vaccine plus the, 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 the measures that has been taken that has contributed to what they have achieved right now. And that's why the economic recovery is proceeding quite strongly. Mm -hmm. So given the high demand now for these vaccines, as you mentioned, they're targeting 50 million, to vaccinate 50 million people. How, how many vaccines can the Chinese government or uh, Sinopharm or Sinopharm or Sinovac can provide if, for example, they get an EUA from the Philippines? Well, I can't give you the exact figure. Mm -hmm. uh, that is something that is subject of talks between IATF and the Chinese company. But the Chinese government, has already repeated that they will share some of their vaccines with particularly with the global south, the developing countries. Mm -hmm. Because what's happening right now is that the countries with money are able to corner the market. Mm -hmm. So, and they're promising to, to sell it or provide it at fair and reasonable prices. So some of the prices I've seen being quoted in the Philippine media, those Ambassador, hello. Yes. Uh oh. Ambassador. Hello. Okay. Maraming salamat po. Thank you, Secretary. Uh, maraming Thank salamat, you. Trish. Maraming salamat, Ambassador. Can we go to uh, uh, Pia Ranada now? Hello, sir. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes, go ahead, please. Go ahead, Pia. Uh, Yes, sir. Sir, um, sir just on ESG vaccines, sir, because the vaccines had to be administered and administering an unapproved vaccine is illegal according to the FDA law. And the PSG said that they supposedly administered the vaccine themselves. So even if, as you say, it's their duty to, to protect the president, does that justify breaking the law? 
Sinabi ko na yan, Pia. Kung sila'y handa mamatay para sa presidente, handa sila kung anong ipapataw na parusa. Pero ang, gawa, ang ginawa nila ay pinuritiktahan nila ang presidente. Let's leave it at that. Yes, but sir, you earlier said that the president is lauding them for what they did. So it's like he's lauding them for breaking the law, for bypassing certain processes. He's a lawyer. Uh, does, he, does he not know better? And what does he say about how Hindi Malacanang po. views are It's law? lauding them? What's the question? Nakiki-argue ka, walang question. No? Ang yes, sir, the question ko, is... Igarito. Nagbibigay sir, the po siya the... dahil sinugal nila ang mga buhay sa kagustuhan nilang protektahan ang buhay ng presidente laban sa COVID-19. At isa ko doon sa nag, uh, nagbibigay pugay din kasama ng karamihan ng sambayan ng Pilipino na sumusuporta sa presidente. Yes, I don't think it was a mistake to protect the president. If there's uh, whatever accountability issue, sasagutin po yan ng PSG gaya ng sinabi ko, eh kung kamatayan nga tatanggapin nila ano naman yung uh, mga ibang parusa na po pwede ipataw sa kanila. Let's leave it at that. Kung may kaso, let the cases be filed and let them proceed. Sino magsasampa ng kaso? No? Sino magbibigay ng ebidensya? Legal issue po yan. So sir, given that the president sees nothing wrong with what the PSG did, can the palace now give the public details about who provided the vaccines to the PSG, what process it went through? Wala pong kinalaman yun. <laughs> Kung gusto po nilang sabihin, sasabihin nila. Pero ang importante po, pinurotektahan nila ang presidente. Uh, sir, kasi importante po yung transparency in this, in this issue. Uh, I think, um, uh, puro, puro I think all the public dyan. wants to know also how the vaccines got to the Philippines. Hindi naman kayo presidente. Eh, bakit yun naman minamasama yung mga isinugal ang kanilang mga kalusugan? Oh, sir, kasi we're talking about the law, protecting the law. And I think uh, it's in the interest of Malacanang to also respect the law and show the the citizens that it is also respectful of the law. So my question, sir, is um, given that the given that this yeah. is an issue of public interest and transparency is something the public wants to see, can the palace divulge details of this disagreement? Who is the businessman or um, whichever entity who gave the vaccines to the PSG? I think it's a fair question. Everybody wants to know. No, it's not a fair question. It's immaterial. Ang material dito, sinugal nila mga buhay nila para protektahan ng presidente, full stop. That's their business. Okay? So for the um, alam nyo, because of lack of time, I have to go. No? Nandito na tayo sa Bilamor Air Base because of uh, a one o'clock flight. Pero um, thank you very much, Pia. Ian Cruz, please. Hello, sir. Okay, well, Ian Cruz, um, you, sir, Rocky, as many questions as you can read, please. Uh, yes, uh, sir. Uh, nandito na po ako. Okay, nandito na po si Ian Cruz. Ian, go ahead. Uh, si, nandiyan okay, po okay, po ba si ahead, uh, Ambassador Santa Romana? Go ahead. Nandiyan pa po si Ambassador? Yes, nandito si Ambassador Santa Romana. Uh, oh. Ambassador, uh, yes, yes. may we know po. Kung kayo po ba ay nagpabakuna rin ng, sin ng Sinopharm vaccine, pati po yung mga taga-Philippine Embassy po natin dyan sa China? For the sounds. Wala. Okay. Audio? Nawala ba si Ian? Sa Next question, Ian. Antayin natin kung narinig ni Ambassador yung question. Okay. Secretary, sa'yo po, yung mga travel restrictions po, magkakaroon pa po ba ng additional? Ka, like po yung China and uh, yung uh, Vietnam, meron na rin po kasi sila mga new variant ng uh, COVID virus. Well, sangayon po sa memorandum na in ng Executive Secretary, magkakaroon po ng joint recommendation ng DOH at ang DFA gaya na nangyari po sa bansang Estados Unidos. No? So antayin na lang po natin kung merong ganyang uh, joint recommendation at aaktuhan naman po yan ng ating presidente. Apo. Secretary, may apila naman yung sa mga taga po Church. No? Dahil alam natin na malapit na po yung kapistahan. Gusto nila na maging 50% po yung capacity ng simbahan uh, leading to the fiesta. May, may mensahe na po ba dyan ang uh, IATF? Hanggang 30% lang po ang ating uh, 
po pwedeng religious services. So, hindi po yan uh, nababago pa hanggang mabago po yan, eh, kinakailangan uh, sundin po natin ang 30% capacity. Apo, Secretary, dun sa mga bakuna, may reaction po kayo kasi may mga LGU na po na may sarili din po silang uh, programa para sa vaccine like ang Manila, ang uh, Makati at kanina nakausap po nila Yusek Raki, ano, si uh, Mayor Vico sa Pasig, meron na rin po sila. Hindi po ba ito magkakaroon ng kalituhan ano, or ng problema kasi meron din niro-roll out ang national government at magkakaroon din ng hiwalay ang mga LGU po? Well, una-una, lahat po ng mga transaksyon sa mga manufacturers will be government to government. So wala naman pong ma-order na independent doon sa uh, mga orders na gagawin po ni Vaccine SAR uh, Secretary Galvez. No? So let's just say we welcome the contribution of the LGUs kasi ibig sabihin, mas marami tayong budget para bumili ng vaccine at hindi lang yung magagaling sa pondo ng national government. Apo. Secretary, may, may inuutang okay. tayo. No? May new I think Ambassador Tantarumana is back. Ambassador, um, the question of Ian Cruz yes. is nagpaturok na ba ho kayo either ng Sinopharm or ng Sinovac or anyone in the embassy? Ambassador, the floor is yours. Okay. Uh, there, uh, wala pang access dito to foreigners to get the vaccine. no? But now that there is general approval for general use, it is quite possible in the coming in the near future or in the coming sometime this year as of now we have not had the vaccine yet Apo. ambassador yung uh, itinurok po na bakuna sa mga taga PSG na Sinopharm may knowledge po ba ang embassy to do na imbestigahan na rin po ba ninyo kung saan po galing ito uh, well we're i i don't i can, i have no knowledge about it uh, we're also curious to know but Unfortunately, we don't. We were not involved. Thank you, sir. Kay Secretary Roque po. Okay. Melo ako niya. Ah, meron ka pang tanong. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, Secretary, uh, yun nga po, ano, may 300 million tayo na dollars na new loan sa World Bank na gagamitin daw po sa bakuna. Para kanino po itong mga bakuna at sa ang mga lugar po ito gagamitin yung mga bakuna? That's for the entire country, no? Uh, minimum 60 million, but the goal now is to provide 150 uh, dosage, no, for all Filipinos. At hindi lang dun sa initial na pinakamahihirap. So okay. we're aiming to give vaccines for everyone. Uh, Secretary, may patanong po, ano? Uh, okay, thank sinabi you, Ian. We now go to Melo. Senator... Apo, sabi daw po ni Senator Gordon, admirable, admirable man ang hangarin ng PSG. Mali pa rin, someone powerful gave the go signal who is behind the vaccine po na, na smuggled po. Ay, hindi ko po alam po anong sinasabi niya. Baka mas may alam siya sa akin. No? Pero tapos na po yan. Lahat ng pananagutan, sasagutin po yan ng PSG. Dahil pa ulit-ulit ko na bang sinasabi, eh kung kamatayan nga, tatanggap nila, tatanggapin nila para sa presidente, ano pa naman yung kulong na posible. No? Wala po ang issue yan. Basta sila, ginawa nila ang katungkulan. And isa po ako dun sa talagang humahanga sa ginawa ng PSG. Uh, punta na tayo, iyan kasi three questions lang ang rule dito sa Malacanang Press Corps. No? Melo, please. Melo ako niya. Happy New Year, Secretary. Magandang uh, bagong taon sa iyo. Nabanggit ng ating kaibigang si year. Teresita Ang si sa tapatan sa aristokrat na nabakunahan na raw po ang may isang daang libong Chino na nagtatrabaho sa mga Pogo sa Pilipinas. Would you have any information about this information? Wala po akong impormasyon. Kung totoo man, edi mabuti. Uh, 100,000 less possible carriers of the corona of the covid-19 vaccine. Yeah, pero definitely hindi kasi nung uh, masasabi nating malaking uh, bagahe ito kung papasok sa Pilipinas, kung paano nakapasok at kung sino nagpasok, yung pa rin ang tanong. Ano po kaya, Secretary? Well, uh, wala po akong kasagutan diyan, no? Ang sinasabi ko lang kung totoo ha, pero of course, hindi ko kinukumpirma yan, no? That's 100,000 less possible carriers of COVID-19. Yun lang po ang aking masasabi dyan. Yeah. Opo. For Ambassador Chito Santa Romana, Mr. Ambassador, Happy New Year and nice to see you. Uh, 
I just want to find out because this information came from Tessie Angsi. Uh, I, I know it's not that easy to uh, export uh, goods, uh, particularly vaccines from China. Uh, would you be able to help us find uh, the missing uh, pieces of the jigsaw puzzle? Happy New Year, Melo. Happy New Year, yes. <laughs> uh, we'll see what we can find out. But uh, as I said, we were, we're not in the loop on this matter. But regarding the 100,000, uh, unless they came back to China and had the vaccination here in China, mm -hmm. as to whether it was brought out of China, uh, I cannot you know, I cannot confirm or deny. I certainly don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's leave it at that. Thank you, Mr. Ambassador. Thank you, Secretary Harry. Happy New Year. Thank you. Thank you. Happy New Year. Uh, my flight po is at 1 o'clock. I am on board cargo class C295, pero we have time for three to five more questions. Pakibilisan lang yung Sekraki. Yes, uh, Secretary Nakoma, medyo napakarami pong uh, tanong dito ang ating mga kasamahan. Uh, Business Mirror na expired na po noong January 1 na Executive Order 85 which maintained the po tariff for mechanically deboned meat for chicken and turkey to 5%. The tariff is now at 40% and expected to increase the prices of processed meat products which uh, make a... Uh, uh, makes use of MDM like hot dogs and canned luncheon meat. May plano ba kayo mag-issue ulit ng new EO si President Duterte to maintain daw po the 5% tariff? May consensus na po doon sa Cabinet Level Committee on uh, Tariff-Related Matters na panataliin muli sa 5% yung taripa dyan. Pero siyempre dumadaan po yan sa proseso at inaantay pa ng uh, Office of the Executive Secretary yung formal na rekomendasyon ng cabinet level um, um, committee on tariff related matters tungkol dito. Second question po, na complete na kaya ng NTC ang performance assessment ng tel uh, for telcos if yes na submit na kaya nila kay President Duterte. It's the first working day of the year po. I'll find out uh, siguro tomorrow or on Thursday I'll I'll answer this question. May position kaya si President Duterte if he will support the premium hike of SSS and feel health or will he listen to calls to defer the said uh, rate increases? Sa SSS, well, uh, meron naman pong uh, supervision ang uh, Office of the President sa lahat naman po ng executive agencies. No? Pero syempre po, ang, ang tinitignan dyan is ano yung mag kinakailangang uh, uh, rate para maging viable pa rin ang buhay ng SSS. Alam natin, ayaw natin magbayad ng mas mataas na premiums, pero kung mawawala naman yung benepisyo natin kung kailan kakailanganan natin ng SSS benefits, eh masasayang din yung uh, pagtayo ng SSS. So, let's just say the, uh, the palace, the office of the executive secretary, is closely monitoring the decisions being made by SSS. Uh, mula po kay Chris Susen ng remate, reaction lang daw po sa, sa, sa pahayag ni Senator, mungkahi ni Senator Richard Gordon na uh, ikonsidera ni Presidential Security Group Commander Brigadier General Jesus Durante III na magbitiw sa kanyang pwesto. That's addressed to General Durante, pero ako po personal at ang Presidente, nagbibigay pugay at nagpapasalamat po kay General Durante. Okay, uh, posible raw muling mapilitan ng Philippine Red Cross na suspindihin ang COVID-19 testing sa oras na mabigo ang PhilHealth na pumalo na sa 762.8 million at umaasa itong hindi na lolobo sa 1 billion. Sinabi po ni Chairman at Senator Gordon na kailangan ng Philippine Red Cross ng pera para ma-replenish ang kanilang supply upang maituloy ang pagbibigay ng COVID-19 testing at iba pang serbisyo. Alam niyo po, pangatlong basis na ata nangyari ito. No? Parang, anyway, same answer po. Meron naman po kasing proseso na sinusunod. Hindi naman po parang pribadong organisasyon ang PhilHealth. Meron mga verifications, meron mga power rules and regulations na so dapat sundin dahil gobyerno pa rin po ang, ang PhilHealth. Pero kung na, going by the track record of PhilHealth, nagkakautang, nagbabayad naman po. At ang presidente na mismo ang nagsalita, he vouches na lahat po na pagkakautang ng uh, 
um, PhilHealth pagdating sa PCR test will be paid. From Laila Salaberry of Inquirer, what is Malacanang's directive to the PSG amid the mid, uh, multiple probes on its use of a COVID-19 vaccine on its personnel? They will cooperate. Uh, they will cooperate, malalaman ang katotohanan. At the same time, ang importante, the purpose kung bakit nila ginawa yun. And ako mismo and the President are very grateful for their courage. There are proposal though po to call the PSG for a Senate uh, to a Senate probe. Is the president's permission needed for them to attend it? And can the PSG refuse to disclose the source of the vaccine it acquired? Hindi ko po alam sa ngayon kung ano magiging direktiba ng presidente because I only speak for him, but I'm not the president himself. No? Pero ulitin ko po yung sinabi ko kung hindi naman po hindi naman po pinaghihimasukan ng presidente ang seguridad kung paano nagpapatubad ang seguridad ang Senado bakit naman paghihimasukan yung uh, ang bibigay seguridad sa ating presidente ko equal branches po kasi yan uh, with respect po sana last two questions because po, I have to leave baka iwan na po okay. ng uh, ni Secretary Galvez at ni Secretary Duque <laughs> So, oh, ano naman yung ibang mga reporters, Secretary, uh, pipilibilisan ko na lang yung palace, jinky bating, bating, batikados ng IBC. Ano daw po yung uh, take nyo sa PRC? May mahigit 90% accuracy sa US ng saliva for COVID-19 test. Mas mura daw po ito at mabilis ang proseso. Hallelujah. Sana may pasok na sa Pilipinas yan. And of course, we're asking the FDA for speedy evaluation para makakuha na tayo ng mas, marum, mas mura na um, test laban sa COVID-19. No? Yung, tanong mo, yung second and third question po niya, Correct nasagot na niya, tanong naman ni MJ Blanca uh, Flor na Daily na Tribune. ang uh, uh, PhilHealth sa Philippine Red Cross. Apo. From MJ, from MJ Blanca Flor, was the president informed that some students reportedly offered a Christmas sale of their sensual photos and video so that they can have money to buy gadgets for distance learning. Ang tanong is, was the president informed? Probably not. Pero MJ naman, yes, no, hindi naman lahat ng bagay na nangyayari eh, kinakailangan iparating sa presidente. Parating lang po lang yan sa kapulisan dahil mayroon naman tayong batas na nagpapataw ng parusa sa mga ganyang gawain. Uh, tanong naman po mula kay uh, Virgil Lopez. Yung unang tanong niya about uh, Senator Gordon's uh, suggestion, nasagot niyo na po, any update on the signing of Bayanihan 2 extension and validity of funds under the 2020 national budget? Kung hindi naman po mapir mapirmahan yan, it will lapse into law. Unfortunately, I'm out of time. It's 1 o'clock. The flight is at 1 o'clock. Although I'm just across... Uh, William Moore Air Boys, I still need five minutes to get there. So maraming salamat Sorry. sa ating mga uh, kasama sa Malacanang Press Corps. Alam ko, bitin kayo, pero mas mabuting nagkaroon na tayo ng ganitong madali ang Press Corps kesa wala. Maraming salamat din po kay Ambassador Santa Romana. Sir, wag po sana kayo magsawa sa ating mga invi uh, um, invitations. At syempre, maraming salamat din po kay uh, uh, Mr. Fernando Zubel de Ayala. Maraming salamat sa inyo lahat sa inyong patuloy na pagtatangkilik ng ating uh, uh, regular presidential briefing. Ito po ang inyong spokes Harry Roque sa ngalan po ng inyong Presidente Rodrigo Roa Duterte nagsasabi, we will heal as one. Magandang hap umaga po at Happy New Year sa inyong lahat.